Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And I'm going to do a reading for Ukraine. Uh, just whatever the cards want to say, advice. Not really sure how to word the question, but I just want to see what the cards want to tell us about the future of Ukraine. Okay, so the moon popped out. Okay, so the moon represents uncertainty and emotions and fear. Okay, if you look at the card, it has a pathway, but it's leading through the darkness. And on either side, there's a, there's a wolf and there's a dog. So the path ahead is very unclear and it's emotional. This could also be about people kind of escaping into not sure where they're going. So they're going down a path, but we don't know where this is going. Okay. So let's let's just keep seeing what else wants to what else wants to be talked about. Yeah, this is again people leaving. So it's very much talking about people leaving, going into the unknown. This is someone who's walking away from the cups and going off into the mountains, again into the unknown. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we've had obviously destruction and chaos and attacks. Um, I think this could be the people not believing anymore what what's real or what's happened. This card is usually to do with boredom. The key words are discontent, apathy, uh, wanting what you can't have, dissatisfaction, spoiled illusion. So I think there's going to be a lot of people that are just, you know, have given up hope or, you know, all of this uncertainty and fear and people exiting and, and chaos and destruction I think a lot of people are just going to get into apathy and feel very helpless, which is already happening. Um, let's see what else. And then there's movement and travel. So this could be, again, people moving and leaving. So we've got travel, uh, travel to many places, much activity, messages back and forth, progressive movement involving other people. So I think obviously everything's flux, everything's not solid, um, everything. There's actually one, two, three, four cards of not solid, actually five of them. No cards here are solid. I think this is probably the most solid, but it's about apathy and illusion and, and feeling dissatisfied. And this is people, you know, going out and maybe coming back to returning. So it could be a, sort of going both ways. I'm just going to take out one more, just one more to make it. And then it shows people returning back home later on. So the Six of Cups is usually about returning back to your childhood, returning back to your homeland. If you look at the actual card, it says memory, childhood reunion, return of a past lover or issue fond reminiscing in the past so i think after all the chaos and people leaving and destruction and fighting and everything like that i do think there will come a time when people can return back to their homes and the children can return back to their homes as well now i'm going to ask the lenormand deck this is the modern classic lenormand Let's see what these guys want to add to the conversation. Okay. Let's see. So Ukraine's future. What can you, Ukrainian people, um, what can they hope for or expect or what do they need to know? What do they need to know? One, two. It's going to do two at a time. Okay, the stalk. People returning. Okay, the dog, faithful friends, protectors, guard dog. This is about babies and children as well, and it could be children returning back home. 
being guarded, like protected, the dog. Love, support, unity, man. You know, you know, when I was doing that, I was thinking of Zelensky in my head for some reason. I just thought, man, Zelensky, protector. Okay. And the ring, people come back. It looks like people are dedicated, committed, uh, long lasting ties and bonds come back. People are giving their word. Men are protecting, men are protecting, guard dog. There's love, there's commitment. So that's quite beautiful. I think this is Zelensky representing, uh, representing the men. It's the men of Ukraine as well as Zelensky. It's sort of like doubling up. But like I said, as I was shuffling, I just thought he popped into my head because of the heart. I just thought the man, something love, and then it popped up that it was him. So I, I, I do believe this is him and it shows holding it all together. People will return. The stalk means people will return. Okay. And there's new life energy with the stalk too, like birth and a new opportunity to open up. So that looks quite positive as well. So I'm going to do the sum total now. So I'm going to add up the cards that we've got. So let's see, we've got, um, got 17 plus 18 plus 24 plus 28 plus 25 equals 1 1 2 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4 so let's see what we got 4 4 is the house so the house going back to the home people will go back to their homes or rebuild their homes so this is about you know the motherland the homeland so it's a beautiful conclusion okay so I'm gonna do Grey Gardens the Grey Gardens Gypsy Queen deck and we're gonna see what these ones wanna say about Ukraine as well. Okay, so let's see what the Grey Gardens deck wants to tell us about Ukraine in the future. The country, Ukraine, oops, these all popped out. All right, so we're gonna have a look at these. So we've got here the rider, people coming and going. Okay, it's romance and adventure. We've got here uh, envy, jealousy, and we've also got here the visitor. Now, visitor usually represents someone from abroad because it's someone coming in. Um, the the man on the horse could mean, you know, the military. So let's just keep on going to see where this is going. And the middle card shows envy and jealousy. So you know, it has a child. Two, it's a girl and a boy kissing, and it has a girl that's on the side who's just looking on in a jealous way. So this could be someone who's jealous of what Ukraine had, and it's someone from a, from outside of Ukraine. I wonder who that could be. Gift and opportunity returns. So how, how I'm reading this actually is, I think this is kind of Putin, because this is a person from a, not from Ukraine. He's come in, he's jealous, and this could be read two ways. It could be read as Zelensky, but it could also be read as uh, the soldiers, people or p people protecting, because it's the heart, it's to do with love. Then we've got here another heart card, gift, the gift returns. And then we have here opportunity comes back. So I'm gonna double check this. I just wanna double check who this is. So who is this visitor? Who is this man from, not from Ukraine? Who is he? Okay, yeah, I think it is definitely, I think it is Putin because he's sending in the planes. You know, this is someone who's traveling and has got bombers. So I think that is Putin. I'm gonna keep pushing it. Let's see where it goes. 
in here. It looks like you're yeah, bombing the homes, bombing the, the people. Okay, all right, let's see where this goes. Okay. And then there's still success. There's a helping hand. Succor means like someone will help or there's help. So, okay, let's see where this goes. This could be someone like, you know, again, it could be maybe America or Europe, I mean, USA or Europe. And love, okay, so it looks like someone's helping. So this is interesting. This is kind of like, it's kind of giving us a story. So I'm gonna break it down. So we've got here a young man on a horse. This could be someone protective. It could be Zelensky. It could be like pe men in general of Ukraine, you know, trying to keep guard and it's to do with love. Okay, and then there was jealousy from a man who was not from there. Um, however, there is a gift and there is opportunity connected to Ukraine. When I asked about this, who is this man? It showed us a man with a plane and papers, but it kind of has a feeling of bombers, the bomber plane. And then we've got the homes and houses of uh, Ukraine. And then it shows there is help and there is love coming. So it ends on the heart, which is a good card, which is showing that there is going to be some sort of happiness, unity that will return to Ukraine. So this is the Neon Lights deck, and we're going to see if it wants to give us a message to Ukraine, the people of Ukraine. It's a little oracle deck, sometimes gives funny little messages. So let's see what it wants to say. Okay, one. Two. Life goes on. Okay, that's interesting. So what I think it's saying here, I mean, it's saying even though you've been hit by lightning and destruction has happened, life goes on in the sense of there's going to be a new chapter for you. Okay, it's not the end of you. You know, it has been shocking what's happened. I think the whole world is pretty much shocked but it's not the end of you life will go on this is paris de bono of the fortune teller shop